Phasmophobia can be quite the spooky game, with terrible fiends and demons wandering the halls looking for that one moment to catch you off guard and relieve you of your eye privileges. Kenny, hey buddy, sorry about what I said earlier. <laughs> but can you blame them? These long lost souls have had zero company for, assumably, decades so it's understandable that they'd be a little bit cranky. Now just to add to that heap of a problem, I'm not very good at phasmophobia. So on top of being dead, they also had to deal with my incompetency, which wouldn't lead to their most ideal Sunday night. So instead of trying to be something I'm not, I turned a new leaf and attempted to date them instead. Results definitely varied on compatibility. Emily, I would like to make a profound apology. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. But there was one constant outcome. It was hilarious. That is the, uh, that is my expertise. That's why people hire me, is to walk in there, identify the ghost, quickly date the ghost, and then leave. Oh no. All right, let's do this. Lash do this, lash do this. If I was a breaker, where would I be? If I was a breaker, I'd be right here. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm smart. Look at me go. Look at me go. All right, let's find this ghost. What's the ghost's name? Ghost name is Emily West. Oh. Yep. The bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Emily West, are you in this room? Can you give me a sign? Emily West, are you here? Hello? Hello, hello? Emily trying to take you to the bedroom before the date, right? Bit a bit, 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 bit forward, but you know, I'll allow it, I'll allow it, bit forward. Flirt with Emily? <laughs> oh, man. David's phone guy confirmed. I am phone guy. I've always been phone guy. You guys just never knew it. All right, uh, we'll bring the this, and I forgot to drop stuff again. I'm smart. Uh, drop this here. Drop this here. Go get more stuff, because we know Emily's location. It is the bedroom. All right, Emily West, are you still hanging out in the bedroom? Yes, yes, you are. You are yes. Okay. Write in the book for me, walk through the dots for me, and everything will be great. Oh, I saw that. She's just trying to sleep, and you turn the lights on. How dare you? Uh, then we'll take, uh, we'll take Jesus, and we'll take a spirit box. We're about to bless Emily West with Christ. Jesus equipped. <laughs> okay. Alright, hello. Good to see you. Jesus! There we go. Good to see you too, Emily. Not very nice to approach People in the dark, you mind not doing that? She hot AF, you couldn't even see her! She was shrouded in darkness! Alright, Emily, are you still in here? Emily, Emily, I need to have a discussion with you, Emily. That wasn't very nice of you. Are you in here? Emily? Emily, are you here? Give me a sign, Emily. Emily, talk to me. Talk to me, Emily. <laughs> Emily, I would like to make a profound apology. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Dang it. <laughs> oh no, Emily's a grandma. Emily's old. Oh, nasty. Emily's like 150. <laughs> you died with 50% off your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love how it cuts pay when you die. Like, oh man, I, I don't have to pay you as much now that you're dead. Let's let's go. This is great. The real journey is the date we had along the way. Oh yeah, we need to start dating more ghosts. Hold on, what's uh Linda? Oh, perfect, here we go. Alright. Hold on, we're going in with a mission today, chat. Screw the EMF. Screw the EMF. Screw the no the camera's nice to have. Screw the flashlight. There we go. There we go. Hello, Linda. Alright, Linda. All right, Linda, I'm here for a date. Hey, Linda, you, uh, what you up to tonight? It's, uh, it's a quiet Sunday night. What are you, uh, what are you up to? Got any plans? Linda, you doing some office work? That's an ax, that, that is an ax. That is an ax, why, why is there an ax here? What kind of office work was going on in here? Is that Linda? Sick. Oh, it's a fan. Wait, fan? Windows? Door? Fa 
in the stand. Okay, let me run it by it again for for the people who are a little, little slow. We got a we got a we got a desk. We got a clock in a very convenient place to see it. We got a fan on the desk. We got two windows beside the desk, and we got a door that you could run up and hold shut. Linda is playing FNAF. All right. Anyway, Linda, where are you? Linda, here. Linda! Linda, where are you? We're gonna go find Linda. Linda? That seems like a bit of a red flag. Alright, what do we got? Oh, another bedroom? Okay. I am not real. I am not real. You never know. I probably blew the breaker. I blew the breaker! Dang it, dude! Hold on. I dressed up all night for today. You could at least have the decency to show up on time. Linda sucks. <laughs> Linda's stupid. Show yourself. This is a police raid. I'm not sure if that'll work. We need to drown her. You guys are so violent. Why is that painting glowing? Do you see that? Oh, Linda, are you down here? Linda, are you finally ready? Took you long enough. Oh my gosh. Linda. For the last time, show up! Where are you? Linda, I'm waiting for you! I mean, drown her in love, of course. You have such a dirty mind. I don't think that's what she meant. I'm, I'm having a few doubts about that. I think Linda stood you up. I think so, too. Screw Linda, honestly. I'm better off without Linda, anyways. Linda doesn't deserve me. I'll give her one last chance. Linda! Here's what we'll do. Let's set the table. We got some pickles. We got a uh, auto-tuner mag. We got... Linda? Are you here? Wait, what's this? Miss Hel Helena Bergington for taking first place in the category Pumpkin Soup Guaranteed Award Mayor's Handshake. Huh. Fourth regional food competition. Good job. He good job, uh, Helena. Good job. Linda, I've got the table set. This is the worst date, Chad. This is the worst date. There's nothing even ready here. What? What is this? This is horrendous. This is disgusting. Like, what is that? Is that, is that, is that Cheetos? Oh, boy. Oh boy, Linda's off playing FNAF. True, true. I got a glass here. Didn't, didn't shatter. Right. Linda Doe. I got a knife, Linda. Show yourself, I got a knife. Is that, which one of you is Linda? Which one of you is Linda? I bet that's Linda, I'll be honest. Linda! Dude, I hate Linda. All right, I got a bottle. The bottles don't even break. What is this? What is this? What is this? I'm gonna, I'm sorry I have a ride. I'm, I'm riding, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, Linda, you did this. You caused this, I'm riding. Yeah, and better throw everything. Linda's lame, we're moving on. Who needs Linda? Stupid Linda. I hate you, Linda. You are awful. <laughs> All right, who is it this time? Jessica Roswell. That sounds like an actor. Sounds like an actor. I get actor vibes from that. Another date? I'm not going in with such high expectations anymore. After the absolute letdown that was last time, I my expectations are at a bare minimum. That is a, that is, what? Why? That's a jaw. That is, that is a jaw. Okay. Whose first date is at a house? I don't know. What if Jessica's like a chef? And she's gonna like make food or something. Like make like, like a, like a duck lorange or something. You don't know. All right, Jessica Roswell, where are you? Give me a sign. Show us. Funk Deluxe. Cool. Funk Deluxe, that's the best funk ever. It's my favorite kind of funk. Oh, which one of this is Jessica? Oh no, is Jessica cheating too? Oh, this isn't good. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Good evening, Jessica. You look lovely today. <laughs> okay, found Jessica. <laughs> All right, Jessica. Okay, we've met Jessica. Jessica actually showed up. That's already a plus. All right, we've got we've we've reached first base of my own specific date requirements, and that is actually seeing the person. All right, are you in here? I, I hope you're in here, Jessica. That makes my life easy. There's a menu for tonight. Uh, are you in here, Jessica? Give me a sign. Much cleaner countertop here. They still got the jar of Cheetos, but you know it's it's better. It's better. Personally, I'm by and a girl, and she is ugly. Oh, I can't believe you. How could you judge Jessica so quickly? You barely even know her. Can't believe you have the nerve to disrespect my beloved Jessica. That's what I'm saying. She tried to kill you. She did not. She tried. She just showed up. You know, she she's a bit 
bit, no, bit, bit, uh, a bit ghastly at the side, but you know, she's just trying her best. Okay, Jason, bro. <laughs> Come on, Jessica, where are you? Show yourself. Show us. Give me a sign. Anything, please. I'm so lonely. Please, Jessica. I'm due to fads. Try and get some tips and not die every time. Uh, well, big major tip if you don't want to die is don't enter the house. But if you do want to enter the house, the second tip I got for you is uh, don't f let the ghost find you. Good luck. Since 1922? Jessica, you... you. Oh my gosh, Jessica's old. Houses in the 1920s looking fire, right? They, they really, they really stepped up. They got TVs back then, man. They... Wait, I heard something. Jessica, Jessica, is that you? I heard something. Man, you kind of stalk your dates. I'm waiting for her to show up. I'm not stalking. I'm trying to find her in her own house. Is Jessica a gamer? Jessica's a gamer. I'm not stalking, I'm just entering her house and she doesn't expect me to be there. Exactly. See, it's very different. There we go. It's cock. It's one hour cock. Lasts longer than most other cock. Exactly. Cock and balls. Where's the balls? I didn't see anyone saw cock. There's multiple too. There was like three of them on the shelf. Cock and cum. No, no, what? No, why would you even put those two together? What? Those have nothing to do with each other. What are you talking about? We're talking about a building, a building instrument here, and like a a, a, a thing you used to build things. You had two cocks that last twice as long as one cock? Yes, it does. It does actually last twice as long. Yeah. You know they had cock back in 1920s? Yeah, no, it was only invented like within like, like, like 1950, I want to say. That's when they invented cock. Before that, I don't know what they used. Cock was invented in the 1870s. The 1870s? Oh man, it's been around for a while. There is so much cock to go around. Please, let's speak. This was a mistake. <laughs> Just give me a cock. <laughs> we didn't cock. Wait, what do you mean? That's not what we're talking. We weren't talking about cock. We're talking about cock. Get it right. Come on, keep up. Jessica was summoned if we talked about cock too much. Yeah, she was like, "Stop it! Shut up! I'm so sick of this." You near? Oh. Oh. I think we found Jessica. She's in the cock room. Hello, Jessica. You missed our date. What's up with that? You wanna you wanna explain yourself? You wanna you wanna talk about it? No response. I don't think she likes me, guys. What the? Okay, I thought that was the window for a second. All right, Jessica. I'm gonna go spy on you from my van. Don't go anywhere. Do anything, Jessica. Like anything, please. Just do something. That'd be nice. Maybe it's the hallway. It could be the hallway. Actually, come to think of it. Uh, what are the light? Turn this light off. Nope. That light off. Drop the dots right here. Cool. All right, let's go take a look. All right, we got a better, we got a better scope here. We can see what's going on. All right, chat. You know what? I'm gonna use the washroom quick. You guys keep an eye on this. Let me know if Jessica ever shows up. Okay. Hi guys, David here. Jessica is LG less than three. Hello. You missed it? Jessica's lame, dude. Jessica's really lame. Let's go check for stupid uh, writing. Oh my gosh, you're actually so lame. What in the world? Do something, please. Seriously, Jessica, this is like snooze fest. Are you even here still? Oh my gosh, you're not even here anymore. Where, where'd you go? Oh. Jessica? Gregory. It was Jessica. She was there. I saw her. She's real. Oh, she, you are making such a mess in here. Holy. Clean up after yourself. Come on. We're finally making ground here with Jessica. Finally. Took long enough. Only took like a century. Where are you? Mm-hmm. 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 Now that we're properly equipped in there, let's go take another look. Imagine you're on your first date with Jessica and she kills you. Oh boy. Let's see if you're actually here or not. Cause we've got two pieces of evidence right now. Two, we got those or kind of two, somewhat two. Weird, but yeah, kind of two. Like half of one, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, no, we, got, we did get spirit box. Okay, yeah, so dots or ghost orbs. I don't see anything from dots. Same goes for ghost orbs. So if we remove all those, it's just a spirit or a poltergeist. Uh, okay, it's a fingerprints, EMF5. We didn't, 
We didn't get any fingerprints ever. I'm gonna say spirit, I think. I'm, I'm gonna say spirit. I think Jessica's a spirit. All right, Jessica, it's been fun. We're gonna move on though. Oh, oh, oh. Chat, ready to play some Russian roulette? We're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it goes. Let's pray things don't go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. That went horribly. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Next one. Okay. Oh, it's a big old room. Okay. I actually haven't really explored this map at all yet. I know nothing about this map. This is cool to explore. What is that supposed to be? Is that molten lava? What is that? Okay. What's in here? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. Oh. Now chat, I got a plan going into this one, okay? We're gonna do the same thing we were gonna do with Kenneth, but we're gonna do it on this house. We're gonna set up ultimate surveillance maximum. Screw the ghost. The ghost's name, however, is Carol Bailey. Okay. I've learned from Linda and from Jessica. So we'll have to see how Carol acts. As the ghost, it's... Can we not? Can we not do that? Static is annoying. Can we not? So my plan here is simple. It's very simple. All we gotta do is set up maximum surveillance around the entire house. We will know everything about Carol's daily life. We'll know everything she does during the day when she leaves, when she comes back, when she sleeps, when she eats, when she does everything. We will know every single little detail of Carol's very existence. It's gonna be great. David, do we need to call the therapist? No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Imagine stalking dead people. Stalking your date again, are we? No. I don't know what you're talking about. That is crazy talk. Absolutely crazy talk. Ultimate, sur ultimate surveillance. Exactly. All we're doing is surveying the area. We're making sure nothing goes horribly, horribly, terribly wrong. You know, like normal people do. Guess here? Yeah, I guess so. We'll put... A microphone right here. Cool. All right, then we'll put the last one going down towards the basement. Just like this. There we go. Surveillance, baby. We're feeling very surveilled. Uh oh, we got and we got noise in the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen camera. What's going on in here? And the garage. I think we have Carol's location. All right, Carol. I'm here to discuss terms. Show yourself. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Give me a sign. Show us. Where are you? Give me a sign. Oh. 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 Dude, Carol's already showing up. I don't know. I don't really know if this is her, the room she's in. Okay. What happened? What? What happened? What was an explosion? Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, the door is opened. OMG, door opened, such a big thing. Wow, it's so cool. Oh, Jim, uh, Goryo, Obaki, or Myling. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hi. Hand poke. Four fingers, four fingers. Now that Carol's actually responsive, unlike the other ones, let's go have a chat with Carol, shall we? She turned the TV on again. I think we know what she wants to do. I'll get us both drinks. Okay, we're gonna have a nice time. We're gonna have a nice time, right? Let me turn the light on. We're gonna have a nice time together, okay? It's gonna be great. What would be great on a date? A can of olives. It doesn't seem like Carol has to eat food as I'm not seeing a single ounce of food around here. Oh my gosh, that TV is so annoying. We got to turn that off. That is actually going to blow my eardrums out. Terrible. Wait a second. I know what we're going to do for our date. We're going to play Russian roulette. We're doing this again, baby. Pro tip, don't die. Thank you. Carol, not right now. We're a bit... I think we're good. Are we good? Where am I? Where, where did I? Where am I standing right now? Okay, I know where I am. Okay, Carol, that wasn't very nice of you. I'll be totally honest. Wasn't the nicest thing you could have done. Bit, bit on the rude side. Let's finish off these tarot cards. Where did I put them? They're here somewhere. Uh, where did I drop them? So the tarot cards in question actually uh, were dropped right in the center of that room. 
However, they clipped out of the map, I think. Honestly, that's the only explanation I have because I clearly saw them drop right in that corner, but they just aren't there for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. This game is weird. We know two things about it right now. We still need ghost writing, freezing temps. I think it was ghost orb or dots. Okay, cool. Let's have some dinner with Carol. She doesn't have any food in the house. What are you supposed to eat? Say so you got her $7,000 gift card and it appears that it, it, and it arrives. It was just 700 pounds of, wait, what? What? How do you have, how do you have 700 pounds of oxygen? How does, how does that work? Freeze it? Can you freeze air? I don't think you can. I mean, there's, there's like liquid air. I know if there's like a liquid air thing. I mean, I guess so. I think, is there a liquid air? I'm sure there's like a liquid air. I'm sure there is. I know I've heard of it. I don't want to keep looking for further though. I want to move on. All right. Well, that was a nice time we had Carol. Carol is actually decent. Carol was a decent date. Unlike Linda and Jessica. Screw them. I don't need them. Yeah, that's the trees. My God. Oh my gosh, we got it right. <gasps> we did it. Yeah, we got it right.